Hi everyone, it's Dr. Elizabeth. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you guys are here. So today's video is entitled Raw Chocolate and Salsa. Dancing that is. They are definitely two of my favorite passions. Every day someone asks me where I get my energy and enthusiasm for life. Many of them tell me they feel old and tired and most of them are half my age. What I know for sure is that a sense of feeling young or old has nothing to do with chronological age. It has to do with our life force and how we are expressing that life force out in the world. The more we can find our passion for life and the more we can find our purpose in life and share that purpose out in the world, the more alive we begin to feel. So let's go on an adventure and discover what makes our hearts sing, lights our soul on fire, and makes our spirits soar. When we can do that, now we are truly alive. All right, you guys, let's get started. Hey, you guys, how are you doing? I'm so happy to be back here today, and I'm really, really excited because, uh, so first of all, thank you so much for all of your beautiful messages and all of your comments. I hope I get to meet each one of you in person sometime really, really soon. We have to do a meetup or we have to do something because I need to give each one of you a big hug. You guys are so beautiful and your messages just touched my heart so much. So a huge heartfelt loving hello and thank you and great big hug to each one of you guys. So a lot of you sent um, wonderful messages requesting videos. And I definitely heard you guys. We're going to do, um, we're planning a, my skincare routine, uh, my hair care routine, um, my nighttime routine, my morning routine, and also, oh, we're going to do another what I eat in the day. But today, I heard you guys, we were talking about superfoods last time. We were talking about chocolate. And just because we're either vegan, raw vegan, or trying to go raw vegan, does not mean we cannot have desserts. And it certainly does not mean we cannot have chocolate. So today, da, 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 we're doing desserts. We're gonna make these little chocolate macarons. They're really, really, really good. So um, that's what we're gonna be doing today. So one of the first things I want you guys to do when we're working together, and I feel like we're, we're in a collaboration here. We're in a collaboration to, um, to be in our greatest expression of ourselves, greatest expression of health, greatest expression of joy, greatest greatest expression of our own light and being. Um, a lot of you guys commented about my energy, so I wanted to say thank you for that and I wanted to share with you guys, we're made up of energy, we're made up of the same stuff as the universe and so when we learn how to source the energy that's already in us and the energy that's all around us, that's when we begin to have amazing energy and that's when we can begin to actually create the life that we want. And so as we go on along in this channel, I'm going to be talking a lot about the power of our thoughts, a lot about the power of uh, the vibrational frequency of our heart and of love, how to tap more fully into that, and also how to source it by the foods we eat, by the thoughts we think and by the, um, the ways we move our bodies to keep us clean, to keep us light, to keep us awake, and to keep us conscious. John Arthur and I are going to go do a little photo shoot, and then when we come back, we're going to do the chocolate macaroon recipe, okay? Okay. Oh, it really is good. Okay, we just got back from our photo shoot. Let's get busy making something yummy. So now I think it's time for some chocolate macaroons. What do you guys think? So the first thing we're going to do is gather our ingredients. So we're going to get out a couple different bowls here. You're going to have a bowl for the liquid ingredients, and then we're going to have a bowl for the dry ingredients. So let me see here. So we're going to start out with one banana. So you're just going to put it in here, and you're going to smash it up a little bit. You guys are going to love these. These are so delicious. And I have to give a shout out to my girl, Kirsten Rutherford. She's the one, she's the, one of the, um, she's an amazing teacher over at my gym, Gold's Gym. And she brought these to class one day. And I was like, oh, no, no, thanks. I'm raw vegan. I can't have it. She goes, girl, these are raw vegan. So, so after I had one, I just took it with me. 
me and put it in a little baggie. When I brought it home, I opened it and I was just like, oh my God, these are delicious. So <laughs> I called her up and I said, you need to give me this recipe. So since I'm sharing it with all of you, I have to um, I have to give her a shout out because they really are delicious. Okay, so see you guys, I just smashed it all up like that. This is with a fork, super, super easy. Okay, so we're good with that. Next, we're going to add one fourth cup of melted coconut oil and one fourth cup of coconut nectar. So we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Pour that in there and you're just gonna mix that around a little bit and just leave it there. We're gonna put it to the side right now. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the dry ingredients. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to do, it's um, six tablespoons of cacao. So dump that in there. The coconut, you wanna do unsweetened coconut? So you're gonna wanna do, <laughs> really? They make this child food so you can't open it. <laughs> I'll get it. Don't worry. They make it youth, <laughs> youth proof. They, oh, I like that. Did you hear what John Arthur said, you guys? They make it youth proof. <laughs> That's so sweet. Thank you. Oh, that was really nice. <laughs> Thank you. This is one of my little secrets. You can take um, the coconut and you can just put it in your little blender for a minute. So I use a half a cup of regular shredded coconut and then I'll use a whole cup and put that in the blender and refine it. It takes like three seconds and now you have very refined coconut. So now what's, what's nice about that is you actually have two different textures. It's just kind of, it makes it more interesting. We have two more things. We have just the chia seeds. So it's one tablespoon of chia seeds. And then we're going to do a pinch of salt. You can use just a pinch of sea salt. Now you're going to take the liquid ingredients and mix it in with the dry ingredients. And as you start mixing it together, it's going to make this nice, thick consistency, which will be perfect for helping you form your little round cookies. This, not only is this not bad for you, this is actually good for you. So it's, um, it's pretty amazing. And you're going to let it sit for a minute because what happens is you guys, as you see, take a peek again, show them again, John Arthur. As you see, see how it's starting to thicken up? By putting the chia seeds in there, they thicken it, and you want it to thicken up just a little bit more than this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our little uh, sheets ready. Once the consistency thickens enough, you're going to take a spoon and you're just going to dab a little bit onto the wax paper. And it's very easy. As you can see here, I probably should have waited a little. They're a little runny. I probably should have waited just a little bit, but I was anxious to make this for you guys. So this consistency probably isn't quite as thick as it could be. Okay, so since uh, we're going salsa dancing after this, you guys have to message me below and tell me who knows how to salsa. Well, I'm gonna, we're going to broaden it. Salsa, bachata, and kizomba. Kizomba. Oh my god. Kizomba is a beautiful dance from Angola and it's as if tango made love to bachata and the love child is kizomba. It's so, I'll have to post a video uh, of me kizomba dancing. It's beautiful. And then bachata dancing and then also salsa dancing. They're such beautiful dances. And what's so beautiful about all the partner dances is it's an opportunity. I believe that music and dance are the international languages of love because you don't need to speak the same language. I dance with people from all over the world and I've danced with people that didn't speak English at all, but you connect and it's like, it's so beautiful. You connect on the dance floor. They pick you up in their arms and they move you around the dance floor and you don't need words. You have the music and you move your bodies to the music and they lead you and you follow and it is a delicious dance. So. You guys suggested um, desserts, and I thought, oh my God, that's perfect. Chocolate and salsa. Dancing, that is. Like, they're, they go perfectly together. In fact, I might even bring some of these out for my little salsa dancing family because we're all really close knit. And you're going to take it and put it in the freezer, and that is it. You can serve it in about uh, 10 or 15 minutes. And that's it. They're so easy and so delicious. So, one of the things I want to share with you guys is. I got a couple messages for people who um, 
they said that they felt old and they were actually quite young so I'm gonna send this message to you guys I'm sending you guys so much love and I want to share this with you guys a sense of feeling young or old has nothing to do with chronological age it has to do with our life force and how we're expressing that life force within us out in the world and so the more we can find our passion for life the more we can find our purpose in life and then share that purpose out in the world. I just invite you guys to go on an adventure to discover what you're passionate about and just to discover what you feel your purpose is and begin to share it. All right, let's go on to our next adventure. Let's go. Come on, you guys. Oh, before I go salsa dancing, I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining me today and thank you so much for all the love, all the beautiful messages. And oh, yes, I was telling John Arthur, I wanted to share with you guys, I was reading a, a lot of you suggested, a lot of you had a lot of questions about how I eat, how long I've been vegan, how long I've been raw vegan, and just a lot of different questions. And a couple of you suggested to do an interactive q and A. I love that. So as soon as I can figure out on YouTube how to do it, I promise you, in fact, Let's see if we can do that this month as one of my weekly videos. I think that's a great idea. So I'm going to pull all these questions together and we're going to do a Q&A video. So if you guys have a question you want to ask me, put it in the message box and I'm going to pull the questions together and we'll do a Q&A, maybe even a couple Q&As and answer some of your questions. All right, you guys. So thank you so much for being with us today. I'm so glad. I hope you guys love our chocolate macaroons. Um, message me and let me know if you tried them and if you like them so in the meantime let's see thank you i'm so glad thank you for being part of this community i'm so glad you guys are here it's really fun making these videos for you and i'm really glad that you're enjoying them i'm committed to doing a video a week and i'm still working on john arthur <laughs> Two. We're actually getting much quicker and much better at it, so we're, we're working. Message Don Arthur if you want two videos a week, Hi. send him a message <laughs> and just say, Yes, we need Dr. Elizabeth, we need two videos a week, and we'll see what we can do with that. So, in the meantime, you guys know what to do. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, we would love that. And thank you for all the love you shared with us, we really, really appreciate it. If you're enjoying the channel, <laughs> John Arthur, said that. John Arthur said yes, thank you so much. <laughs> if you're enjoying the channel, please subscribe. I would love that. And share it with your friends if you'd like them to benefit from the gift of health as well. I think that's it. So until next week, I love you guys so much. I appreciate you. And um, happy skinny dipping in the fountain of you. <laughs> I think it's time to go salsa dancing. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Woo!